Row number four, Jonathan Murphy in the 62 and the 410 of Mike Fowler. Final row, it's Tyler Stevenson in the Fox 28 and the 23 of Cole Perry. Once again, eight laps is the distance. First of three will be on track as, once again, want to welcome the good folks watching on Dirt Track Digest TV. Watching live on the World Wide Web right here at Can-Am. And uh, those of you who couldn't make it to Can-Am tonight and are watching on DTD television, welcome to Can-Am. Glad you could join us here on Championship Night, brought to you by the good folks at Channel 7 News out of Watertown. Ryan Shanahan, he's out of Carthage. He'll look for the green flag. All starts and restarts tonight. We'll be at the white pylon coming off of turn number four. Ryan Shanahan and Kyle Sharp will bring him to green. Mike LeClaire, Chief Director of Traffic Control, looks the field over. Green lights are on and we're underway. And Shanahan jumps into the head of the class as Kyle Sharp under attack now from Taylor Dockstader early on as Brian Hudson back there in the four spot trying to battle alongside of him. Then a couple of Carthage natives going at it as Eric Nyer and Jonathan Murphy tangle up off of corner number four, cross the line for lap number one. Ryan Shanahan in control. Taylor Dockstader he moves into position number two along with the 621 of Hudson. The 62 of Murphy scoots on by. Here comes Tyler Stevenson with a look down to the inside on Kyle Sharp looking for spot number five. Looks like he's going to get it as they exit off of corner number four and across the line at lap number two. Shanahan in control opening up that gap over Taylor Dockstader. By about four car lengths right now as they work it into turn number one and two. The 62 of Jonathan Murphy occupies third. Good battle going on for the five spot right now. Eric Nyer, a slick move down on the bottom. He'll pick up fifth from Stevenson. Mike Fowler, he has got to get up and get going if he wants to start towards the front of this feature as he's working on Kyle Sharp for a spot, and he's going to get it coming across the line this time at lap number three. Five laps left to go. Ryan Shanahan putting a hurting on the field here in the early going. Taylor Dockstader top 10 in points coming into tonight's racing program. He holds on to second, third, still a battle between Brian Hudson, Jonathan Murphy and Eric Nyer as they cross the line here at the halfway point. Four down, four more to go in this opening heat for the Bob Johnson Auto Group, Dirt Car Sportsman and Ryan Shanahan well in control. He's been in control from the drop of the green flag as he heads down the back straightaway. About six, seven car lengths is the spread between the top two drivers as they motor off a of turn number four, down across the line this time by at lap number five. Three laps left to go. Everybody started to space themselves out in a single file formation around the inside portion of the racetrack. Drivers get spaced out like this. It's really hard to get going and trying to make some passes out there, but they're trying as they work it off at turn number four. Back down to the line. Ryan Shanahan sees the two lap flags from Mike LeClaire. Taylor Dockstader still there for second. Brian Hudson's put some distance between himself and Eric Nyer for position number three at the moment as they work it up off a of corner number two and down the back straightaway. Mike Fowler is moving around the racetrack. He's trying to figure something out to try to get his way into the top five. In the meantime, white flag is in the air this time by for Ryan Shanahan. Final time into turn number one and two. The Carthage, New York native will work it up into turn number one and two with a healthy advantage. It's about an eight car length lead right now over Taylor Dockstader who holds on to the two spot. Brian Hudson there for third. Eric Dyer and Jonathan Murphy, your top five. Looks like that's how they're going to finish. It will be Ryan Shanahan picking up the victory. Second spot will go to Taylor Dockstader. Brian Hudson crosses in third. Eric Dyer fourth and at the line for fifth it will be Jonathan Murphy. Tyler Stevenson, Mike Fowler, Kyle Sharp, and Cole Perry. Ladies and gentlemen, heat race number one for the Bob Johnson Auto Group. Dirt Car Sportsman is complete. Heat race number two, ready to roll trackside. Jamie Davis is lined up and ready to go. He's got the lineup for heat race number two. Jamie? Thank you, Tim. Qualifying heat number two for the Sportsman Cars for the Bob Johnson Dirt Car Sportsman Cars coming out out of the speedway. On the pole, row number one on the inside will go the 7D up Dustin Hutton out of Central Square. On the outside, the 621G of Trevor Gibbons. Inside row number two will go the 95 of Kira Bacchus out of Fulton. And on the outside, the 92 of Frank Sibley out of Calcio. Row number three on the inside will go the 91 of Josh Rayom out of Clayton, New York. And on the outside, the 35B of Brennan Moore out of Elgin. Next in line, fourth row on the inside, will go the 5R of Steve Roberts out of Harrisville, New York. And on the outside, third generation driver out of Lafarsville, New York, the 18 of Gavin Isley. 
And in that final starting spot, we'll go to the 34 key, or 34K of Keegan Nyer. Keegan out of Carthage. Here they come. Mike looks them over, says they look great. Let's go. And down the front straight away they come. And Trevor Gibbons on the high side of the speedway trying to take that spot away from Dustin Hutton, but Hutton gets that lead early as they head down the backstretch. And it's Brennan Moore who's on the move. Moore on the top side of the speedway. He goes up to the number three qualifying spot. He's looking at the second spot as well as they come down the front straightaway. And Moore is just in fuego out there. He's moved up to the number two spot. He started back on that third row on the inside, and he's up to the number two qualifying spot already. But Dustin Hutton, he's opened up about a five to six car link lead as they come off the turn and down the front straightaway. He's got that lead out there. Moore sits there in the number two spot. Trevor Gibbons is back there in third. Big battle for the fourth spot. As now three cars are trying to get into that number four qualifying spot. Around the turn they come, and a great battle shaping up for fourth there as all three of them trying to set their sights on Trevor Gibson as well. Leading that fourth spot right now to 92 of Frank Shipley, and he's got all he can handle right there with Josh Rayom right on him on the outside part of that racetrack. Back in front, Dustin Hutton is the leader out there. Then a gap of seven back to Moore, then a gap of about seven more back to Trevor Gibbons, who's got all he can do to hang on to the number three spot as Gavin Isley on the move now. Gavin who started back in eighth position is now up and challenging for the number three qualifying spot. Isley on the move on the high side and he'll take it away from Gibbons as they come off the turn. It's still hunting up in front of that 17. Moore back there in second then a gap of about five back to the 18 of Isley. Then comes Trevor Gibbons who sits there in fourth and Frank Simply rounds out the top five. Off the turn, they come two to go from Mike LeClaire. And Dustin Hutton is out in front by about six or seven car lengths over Moore. Moore still sits there in the number two spot. Then a gap of six back to the next spot of Gavin Isley. White flag will come out for Hutton this time around. Dustin Hutton out of Central Square up in front. Moore still sits there in second. Isley's back there third. Gibbons hangs on to fourth. And Josh Rayon rounds out the top five. It is all Dustin Hutton out of Central Square. About a 10 car length lead now over his nearest competitor. Checkered flag drops and Hutton will take the win. Moore will finish in the number two spot. Isley will finish in third. And we got a car round up in the turn. Another car way off the racetrack at the tail end of this one so Tim I can tell you this much you can tell it's down to the last night and everybody wants to move up no matter where they are in the standings. That's exactly it Josh Riome well in line to possibly jump up maybe into the number four spot in the points coming into or uh, leaving this evening but uh, Josh the uh, racing firefighter out of Clayton uh, gets it twisted around over there in turn number three and four as uh, he'll head back to the pits and uh, Apparently is not too happy with uh, Trevor Gibbons over there in turn number three. Well, ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice hand though for your winner, the 7D out of Central Square, New York. That's Dustin Hutton. Third qualifying heat for the Dirt Car Sportsman coming up. And once again, here's Tim Balls. Tim? Thank you, Jamie Davis. As uh, always, great call on heat race number two. Third and final heat for the Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman is ready to go coming up after this we are going to have the first heat for the Whitesboro Plow Shop Dirt Car 358 Modifieds it will be Franklin McEnutta Russell on point in the 63 along with Justin Gadbaugh from Natural Bridge in the 18G row number two Greg Brinklow out of Kingston the 707 then the 17 of Owen Nyer from Carthage row three Jessica Power out of Kingston in that three-way tie for fourth and points coming into this evening Remington Ham is one of the drivers she's tied with for that number four spot she's out of Rodman New York in the 57 row number four Jamie Brown out of Clayton in the 10B with a 64 of three-time defending track champion and current point leader Tyler Corcoran Anthony Rasmussen back with us on a Watertown in car number 99R. Third and final heat for the Bob Johnson Auto Group Dirt Car Sportsman. Eight laps is the distance. Leclerc looks the field over. It will be Franklin Mackin and Justin Gadbaugh on the front row. Green lights are on and away we go.
Field scrambling up into turn number one and two. Franklin Mackin grabs the race lead early. Greg Brinklow still looking for his first career win, holding on to second. Watch Owen Nair going from the bottom lane. He's looking for third around. Justin Gadby is going to get it. In the meantime, Jessica Power trying to sneak by the 57 of Remington Ham down the front straightaway. As he crossed the line for lap number one, it's going to be Mackin in control of the field. Brinklow, Nair, the top three. Power sneaks by, gets up to the five spot, looking for another one. He's trying to challenge Justin Gadbaugh for position number four. Gadbaugh started on the outside pole and has drifted back here towards the uh, mid portion of the field, up to fifth now as they bring it off the corner. Jessica Power is continuing to charge forward. She passed Justin Gadbaugh going into turn three and got by Owen Nair coming off of turn number four. And now she's going after Greg Brinklow for the two spot. That 52 is on the move here early. Two laps are complete. We're coming into lap number three and Jessica Power is on the move. Started back in position number five and on the charge to second as they drag race with Brinklow down into turn number one and two. Jessica Power to the two spot. As Franklin Mackin shows the way once again, Power slides up in front of Brinklow. She'll take over second and immediately goes after the race leader. Into turn number three and four. We're halfway home this time by four. Down four to go. Franklin Mackin in control, but for how much longer? Because Jessica Power is moving through the field quickly. Greg Brinklow, Owen Nyer, Remington Ham, the top five right now as they work the inside lane off of turn number two. And Jessica Power, once again, a great launch off the bottom side of the racetrack. She closes in on Mackin for the race lead. Power on that inside lane. Franklin Mackin through the middle portion of the racetrack, able to get a good bite that time, able to fend off Power for the lead. Five down, three to go. Three laps left to go in heat number three for the Bob Johnson Auto Group, Dirt Car Sportsman, and Franklin Mackin in control. But Jessica Power has been the story of the race. She started fifth and it charged towards the front of the field early, trying to get by Mackin for the lead. Here comes Power down to that low lane. Mackin's got the momentum up on the high side. Two to go this time by. Two laps remaining. Franklin Mackin knows that Jessica Power is there. Rolls through the middle portion of the racetrack. That's the opening. Jessica Power needs. Gets a great launch again up off of turn number two. Into turn number three. Wheel to wheel for the lead in turn number four. Mackin gives her the lane down on the bottom. He's been good through the mid portion of turn number four. White flag in the air this time by. This race is far from over with. Mackin drops a lane lower down into turn number one and two. Slides again through the middle. Here comes Power again. Another good launch off the bottom into turn number three and four. This time by Power will take a look down low. Mackin through the middle portion of the racetrack at turn three and four. Franklin Mackin's going to hold off the advance of Jessica Power to grab the win in heat race number three. Power crosses in second at the line for third. It's Owen Nyer over Greg Brinklow. Remington Ham fifth. Tyler Corbin.